there isn't a lot of uh, intrinsic reasons, I think, for university groups to try to build rockets to go to space, except maybe pride or fun or other things like that. Um, we do it because it's an inspirational goal. Um, and most of us are kind of just obsessed with space exploration in general. Um, for that reason, open source is attractive to us because if the work that we do um, uh, spreads, gets used by other groups, um, then uh, we're helping to pull up the whole field of uh, amateur rocketry by its bootstraps to a, a more interesting and higher level. So we're trying to we're trying to raise raise the level of the debate um, around uh, launch vehicles, around CubeSats to to a more interesting level by publishing all of all of our work out in the open. So if you're successful, then others will have an easier way of being successful too. That's our hope. Yes. You're working on your own GPS device. Why? Um, I, oh, so we're working on a a software defined radio. GPS receiver. Actually, we've we've already made one, uh, several revisions of it, but um, we're hoping it's it's a an error of process and it's improving. The reason why we have to make one ourselves is that all the off shop off the shelf ones are uh, intentionally crippled to not work um, above Mach one or above a certain altitude. Um, Mm -hmm. And uh, again, so, this is for military reasons. Yeah, I, th I, b I believe that's the the main reason is to to keep people from using using it as a guidance system for a weapon. Mm -hmm. um, but in our case, we're we want attitude control for hopefully more benign reasons. <laughs> yeah, and so you're developing it yourself because you you can't buy it. Yes, you can't buy it.